Hey everybody, Chris, the Up North Air Gunner. So how was the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge this year? <laughs> well, check this out. This is how it started. So that was before competition even got started. We went out to the desert with the FX Dynamics 35 Cal and we nailed that balloon at a thousand yards. So I'm going to take you through all the technical details about that shot, how we prepared for it, um, how we got the equipment set up. But I really want to take you through the uh, RMAC 2024 because this event has honestly become the world championship of air gun competition in the world. We had so many different countries represented there this year. So the level of competition at RMAC is absolutely top tier. We had uh, competitors from dozens of different countries and it was just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take you through all the different uh, competitions either that I was in or that I observed. And first off is the bench rest competition. So if you've been following my channel, um, we've been building up this absolutely awesome FX King in the Sabre tactical chassis. I have this gun absolutely dialed in perfect. 100 yard uh, tune is just absolutely just dropped in everything within that eight ring over and over and over again. And leading into this competition, we actually did a little bit more testing with uh, the Zan BR 50s and the Zan BR 100 pellets, and then also the new AEA 50 grain pellets. And the reason why I want to bring that up is um, if you haven't really been kind of following what's been going on in bench rest competition this year in 2024, this is innovation trend of these heavy for caliber high ballistic coefficient pellets is really helping us get our scores up even higher and the reason being is having that high bc pellet allows us to um, kind of cut down some of that wind deflection because out in utah that wind was absolutely crazy Hailing. So what do you what do you hold for hail? About seven hundred mil. Seven hundred mil hold for hail. Okay. So definitely check out the Zan BR fifties or the BR one hundreds or these AEA pellets because they're just absolutely amazing. Out of the one in forty twist uh, out of the FX kit. So if you have an FX impact or if you have um, an FX dynamic, a cane, so anything that can take that thirty caliber barrel liner. The 1 in 40 twist barrel liner from Utah Air Guns is what you want to get for all of these uh, heavy for caliber pellets because it's absolutely awesome. So we rolled into the competition. Um, the gun was ready. The shooter, I just made a really horrible mistake during one of my magazine changes. I actually double popped my target. I was on track to getting about a 220, which is really my average. And just hitting a double, the double target like that, you get a 10 point deduction and pretty much knocks you out of competition. So at that point, I became a little bit of a, of a fan and a spectator for the rest of my teammates. So one of those teammates was Keith Gibson, and Keith has been Mr. Consistency every single card, every single competition, and this year was no different. This year, uh, Keith had the highest, or actually was tied for the highest, three-card score with his FX impact, and it was just, the scores are just absolutely crazy. Uh, my friend PJ Clark shot an absolutely amazing uh, qualification two card, got into the finals. All right, we're here with PJ Clark, buddy. Good shooting, man. How'd you Thank do? You. Depends on how it plugs, but I'm thinking 225 to 231. Outstanding, man. Good shooting, so, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so, huge shout out to PJ. But the big story this year is Thane Simmons, and that dude set the world record in competition of a score of 240 points in the finals. So huge shout out to Thane and Sabre Tactical. So one event that I didn't compete in, but I was there to watch and observe and learn as much as I can is the PRS, the Precision Competition. And this year was absolutely epic. Some of the, uh, the stages that they had set up with a lot of these different vehicles and obstacles and barriers that they brought in. Get to the chopper! <laughs> but the conditions were absolutely brutal the heat the wind the dry dusty desert air just absolutely wiped out so many shooters i saw a lot of guys just trying to hydrate throughout the day so what's really awesome is mad dubber 
won the PRS competition with the FX DRS Pro, absolutely brutal conditions. And watching these professional PRS shooters, it's really, um, it's it's good to go watch at RMAC because you pick up a lot of diff, different tips and tricks and techniques from these guys. And then the way they build their shooting positions and just every single trigger break that they take, every single shot they take is just such a mechanical process they go through. So learning a lot, but definitely come to RMAC as a spectator sometime because watching these guys compete, you're going to take away a lot of tips and tricks. All right, so next up was the speed competition. And quite honestly, I had no intention of competing in this one. Um, I did bring a, a gun with me. And after seeing PJ Clark take this shot out in the desert with his Air Max crate, I decided it was probably time for me to get mine set up and compete too. All right, PJ, you are at 286. All right. With a pretty stiff right to left. I think you hit it. Dude. I think you hit it. Do it again. Yep. Send it again. <laughs> <The> same rock. <laughs> Wind died just a little bit. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is mental, man. That was Air Max Arms crate. <laughs> What was the what was the yardage? 286. 286. 286. With I am pellets. I am di with pellets 18.1 grain JSBs. I am dialed all the way up and I'm holding about 11 mils over <laughs> and about 8 mils to the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. So after I saw that shot, um, I had gotten this Air Max crate from Utah Air Guns a while back. And I brought it with me just as kind of a gun to plink around with. And uh, we got it all set up. PJ took me out in the desert and he showed me the proper zero. So for the speed competition, you're not going out any further than 65 yards. One. Two. Three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the optic that I chose to use with this is, was the Element Immersive 5 to 30. So it was only a 5x magnification. It seems like a pretty low magnification. But the reason why I went with this optic is the crazy wide field of view you have with the Element Immersive series. And the reason why that's important is during speed competition, your lane... Um, you really want to be able to see as many of your targets within your field of view because as you're engaging each target, taking a shot, moving on to the next one, being at a really high magnification, you're going to get lost. Plus also all the movement in the reticle with the magazine changes and the uh, the cocking of the air gun. Just having that 5x of a magnification in the really wide field of view was a, was a perfect optic. Uh, I won a couple of head-to-heads. Uh, this is my very first competition, but going up against Alex Hatfield, that kid is the fastest shooter I think I've ever seen in my life. So I went head to head with him, just he completely destroyed me. Shooter right, are you ready? Shooter ready. Stand by, engage. Let me finish. Thank you. And uh, it was awesome to seeing him going on to the finals and just winning. And it was just. If you've never seen speed competition in person, again, yet another reason to come to our back because watching the speed competition is absolutely epic. So lastly, we have the Big Boar competition. And Big Boar is my, that is my event. Every year for our Mac, that is the one that I want to do the best in because if you guys have been following my channel, Big Boar Air Guns is what got me into air gunning. 35 caliber and higher, big power. And this year is proof that the Big Boar Air Gun area of our sport is advancing in crazy ways that I never imagined. When I first got into big bore air guns, it was about just massive power for deer hunting and big game hunting. Now we're getting into power and precision. And when you combine those two things together, we're seeing a lot of different manufacturers 
come to the table, come to the competition with some pretty awesome customs. Uh, we've got some uh, factory, uh, just manufacturers that are coming out with some amazing air guns. So during my event, I only dropped four targets across the entire thing. We were from 100 yards out to close to 300 yards. Yeah, Chris. So I just want to take a quick moment here to uh, actually thank both Jay and Ainsley Grigg who made me these wind flags. So the creativity of the unicorn wind flag came from Ainsley. Thank you so much. As a thank you from both Utah Air Guns and also Team Element Optics. We decided to give her a uh, a Element Optics uh, optic for a special custom Utah Air Guns custom shot build that she's working on. And so I'll be definitely be using these. And a huge shout out to Jay for bringing his daughter to this event because we love watching dads and moms bring their kids to the Utah Air Guns uh, competition. Definitely raising them right. All right, so back to the big war competition highlight. Uh, Keith Gibson was absolutely on fire. He also only dropped four targets the entire competition. He was shooting these awesome new Zan 457 slugs. If you have not seen these things yet, super high ballistic coefficient, super slippery design. These Zans were just drilling targets. So, yep, Keith and I did really well. We only dropped four targets each. But the big news of the Big Boar event, there was three shooters who did not miss a single target. <laughs> not a single target. It was absolutely awesome. So... They did a head-to-head -head on that uh, first day of Big Board competition. It got so late and dark, we actually had to shut it down. Come back the next day, and the head-to-head -head final competition to determine who was the winner of the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge Big Board competition was a 600-yard shot at a 12-inch plate. And what was awesome about it, we saw the guys from Team Center Cut. They hit it twice, and then Aaron Hip was shooting his Air Force Texan uh, 457, hit it once. It was just mind-boggling watching those guys take those shots out there. So a huge shout-out to Team Center Cut for winning the Big Boar Air Gun Challenge. But that brings up where we started this whole video with the 1,000-yard shot with the FX Dynamic because that's what we're talking about here is where we're able to take power and precision. We're able to combine those two things together. And this FX Dynamic 357 project is a perfect example when you put those two things together, amazing things can happen. All right, so we're already almost 15 minutes into this video, and I really think this topic needs its own video. There's so much to cover and what goes into a thousand yard shot and beyond that this definitely was not spraying and praying. We did a lot of calculations. We did a lot of data gathering, a lot of R&D around the products we were using so I will tell you, though, I was not the only one that hit this shot because Rick Ream from Shooter1721 was also with me, and he also hit a 1,000-yard shot on a balloon. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Hit it. Ah! <laughs> but get this. 
both of us were able to get this done in less than 10 shots. So please subscribe to Up North Air Gunner. We're going to be dropping this video soon with all the details. We're going to go into all the different data, tools, techniques, equipment, strategy, everything that went into this thing. So stay tuned. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell here on Up North Air Gunner. Thanks for watching. Take care. Yeah! 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 What? Yeah! 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 Yeah!